Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry about the absence as of late. I have been pretty sick. I got a sinus cold and the sinus cold just kept growing and bigger and bigger and bigger and I felt like complete crap. Um, you get to see me in my full glory. Oh, first of all, I am wearing a, a new outfit. Filming in a new outfit. Go. Um, today, because it's November, finally, which means we can finally get into some of the more wintry looks, which I'm excited for. Um, these are looks that I like to do from like November to like February, and then in March we go back into like the spring theme. Um, and I want to kind of do like holiday Christmassy looks without being cliche and doing like red and green and burgundy and gold and just the very typical looks. I like to kind of walk on the wild side and adventure a little bit. So um, I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to be doing today, but I'm definitely going to be venturing into the Blue Blood palette. Um, I already did my eyebrows. Um, if you would like to see me do my eyebrows, I can speed that up and put that in um, another video or just put it in at the end or maybe who knows, maybe I'll do a whole separate video on brows. Speaking of brows, I, fun fact, am strawberry blonde and I get shade matched and blonde frequently. It is very annoying. So I've gotten to a point where I match myself because I like leaning more redhead because if like my brows are more more matching to my hair color now than if I were to put them blonde because they would just be lighter and so I get frustrated with that. I don't like that look. I like my brows to resemble more of the redhead side of me because I resemble more of the redhead side of me but you know <clears throat> that's just a personal problem. The lovely blue blood palette has all of these fantastic blues and they're all absolutely stunning and marvelous but some of them aren't as neutral as I need them to be. So we're going to experiment today and we're going to see where we go. But first of all I'm going to take my ultra fluffy favorite brush because I've already <coughs> done my brows and I've already primed. I'm going to dip into Wealthy in the Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to do my typical thing where I tap it all over the lid and then I dip back in. Now these shadows do give a lot of kickback but I absolutely adore them. I went on a rant in my first video about Jeffree Star and how his shadows are incredible because they are. And I can't deny that, and actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking advantage of the mirror in this palette because it's massive and it is beautiful. Like, it is it is a very stunning mirror, and I absolutely love it. It's such good quality. His products are such good quality, and for the price you pay, it's definitely worth it. Oof. Is it wrong that I just want to put glitter all over my face all the time? I just, I just want to be drenched in glitter. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I've decided what I want to do. This is why you don't go in without a clear vision. You end up sitting there scratching your head for like 45 minutes trying to, trying to figure out what look you want to come up with. So I'm actually going to go in with I'm Cold on my Morphe M433. Who that kick back up. And I'm going to just straight in to the crease, blend this lightly. <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to blend it down onto the lid as well and just make this my whole eye right now. With, like we're not going past the crease, we're going to blend it all over the lid. I never understood, no offense to the acres that do, do this, like, you do you. You never understood people that do their makeup one eye at a time. I just, I have to do both. Alright. <clears throat> so once that's on, so we've got like a nice blue base. Going to go in with a M441. 
Ben with me. And I'm going to dip in to Blue Blood. And I'm going to just focus it on the outer edge of my eye in the crease. And I want to focus this strictly on the outer edge of the eye. I always have makeup wipe on hand just in case something a little extra happens. I'm just quick clean it up and just now I'm actually going to take I've got the Barnes brush and dip the Masquerade Madness palette in the shade Meriwether. It's a really, really dark blue. I'm going to grab my little mirror foot for this. And just going to soak up in the bottom lash. And that's it. I'm just smoking it. I'm not doing any other blending. Just taking a little bit of product and pushing it up. Just like that. Same difference. Very subtle, but so pretty. All we're doing here is just giving the illusion of an uplifted eye. That's all we're doing. We're not doing anything too fancy. Just keeping it really simple. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually going to take this unnamed flat brush and I'm going to dip, oof, I think I'm going to dip back into I'm Cold. This is a little dense, so this brush is going to really get that color payoff. And I'm just going to dust I'm Cold right onto the lid. Just giving us that brightening effect. Now the goal here is to look wintry. Like it's not to look like, for me, for me, for me personally, this is like party chic kind of like, I would wear this to church. I'm a church goer, so I would wear this to church because it's not <clears throat> too sultry. But I wouldn't wear it every day. Like I would pick something a little more neutral to wear every day. This would be more of an outing kind of look for me. Because you can already tell like as much as it's all blended and lovely and beautiful. It's a very bold statement. But it's also very wintry. Which oof, just gives me chills. I love it. So I'm actually going to take it one step further. Go back into my Scott Barnes 6-2. I've been in the shade Acapella in the James Charles palette. And I'm just going to dust the crease with that. Mm. Mm. I do have a particular brush I'm looking for, and my brushes are in my lap, just so you know. Uh, this is the Angled Eyeliner Brush by QUO. So you can see it's a little bent. I love it. This is one of my favorites. I'm going today. We're doing the Wander Beauty Glow Getter Mist. That is the setting spray we're using today. And I'm just going. Oof, that is got such a wide mist and a nice fruity scent. We <coughs> don't taste it. It tastes terrible. Can't breathe it in. Going to go in. I want to go into Ocean Ice for the glittery. You know what, I think if I'm going to use lashes, we're going to go into Undertaker. I'm still dying, guys. <coughs> Save me. Uh, so 
So because of how we used the shade Meriwether, I'm not actually going to make this a wing. And I know I say that now and you're like, oh, Alex gave it five minutes and they're doing it at the hour and it's just natural to it to you. You're winning today. I am going to make it a little thicker on the end, but I'm not winging it out. Just because we already winged with Meriwether. I'm going to make the mistake of adding glitter. Then I'm going to go into the royal ball, just with my ring finger. Just going to very lightly press my finger in because I don't want a lot of glitter. But I know I say that now and you're gonna be like, Alex, you're gonna have five layers of glitter on. I really actually don't want a lot of glitter in this look. I want it to be more focused on the blues than on the sparkle. And despite not having color, the sparkle comes off really well. How is it that I can fade glitter on one eye beautifully but not on the other? Don't have me, I love glitter. <clears throat> okay. Now that I have glitter everywhere again, because your girl can't live without glitter. Um, I'm going to go in with Volumina Voluminous Million Lashes. I have no idea who this is by, actually. L'Oreal? I think this is, I think this is by L'Oreal. This is not waterproof, which is my bad. Uh, it was actually gifted to me by a friend, and I said, okay, I'll take it. He was doing a makeup clearing. And this is one of the things that she was like, I don't need it anymore. And I was like, dude, I'll take free mascara. So this is one of the few <clears throat> um, mascara options I own. It is not waterproof. Nine times out of ten, I wear waterproof because I cry like a baby at absolutely everything. But I will admit, I love how this makes my lashes look. Absolutely stunning. Now that that is done, I'm going to pause on my eyeballs, clean up some of the shiny items, and I'm going to go in on my face. Uh, here we are. So I'm taking the Ordinary Hydrolonic Acid plus B12. This is normally how I do face makeup, just in case y'all are wondering. I'm going to actually rub the little dropper along my face. Yeah, just a little bit. Because I don't want to lose a drop. And getting this all over your clothing is a pain in the behind. I don't know about you guys, but my skin gets so dry in the winter. I don't want to get a little bit sooner. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I rub mine along my lips because why not? Why the heck not? Really nice thing is my skin feels kind of tacky after, so technically you could go straight in with foundation and not even worry about priming. I prime anyway. Today I will not be because I am. It is 4:37 in the afternoon. I'm not going anywhere. If my makeup fails, my makeup fails. That's what it is. Today I am using the Infallible 24 Hour Wear um, by L'Oreal. I actually don't like the smell of this. I'm actually going to start by going in on our little brush and just cleaning up the top portion of my brow.
I look weird. I promise you I will not look weird. <laughs> I'm then going to take my beauty blender and bounce its bottom in there and just go straight in. I look like a ghost. <clears throat> this normally happens for me. So we're going to fly through the rest of my skin. A little bit of concealer. Now, I'm not going to contour, um, partially because this is a very icy eye look and warmed up skin is not going to mix well, um, partially because contouring is a pain in the behind for me. What I am going to do though, is spray my beauty blender with some setting spray. I'm going to tap my nose and under eye area and my lip area. Okay, so one of my younger brothers was crying in the background, so I opted for a voiceover moment instead. Basically what I am doing is I am just patting setting powder into my face to set. I did not bake today. Um, that was not the plan. So, here you go. <coughs> I'm like worsening my cold right now because I am inhaling a million and two different beauty products that I shouldn't be inhaling. This is why I need help. So I'm actually going to go in with a different blush today. I'm going in with Floating Lights from the designer Disney Midnight Mastery Collection. And I'm going in with the JS2. Ooh, kick back something fierce. I'm just going because this is a really, really pink blush, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of pigment. Going in with a very light hand. I am actually going to take a tiny little bit and dust my nose with it. And you're like, why? Why would you do that? It adds color back into the skin. That's the main goal we want here. So here what I'm doing is I am just tapping out some powder there to diffuse the blush a little bit and then spraying my face with some setting spray to let it all settle. I'm actually going to go in now with my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Star Island. And I'm going to go in with my JS4. Today I'm a little extra highlighted, I don't remember the lines as much. <clears throat> Alrighty. One more round with the mist. It smells good. Boy, is that brutal. Now, a couple more steps, and then we're done this look. I'm going to take another makeup wipe. Um, I've been using the Face Seek moisturizing wipes. Honestly, three bucks is a dollar store. It's it's a makeup wipe. It's good enough for me to use. And I'm actually going to take a makeup wipe and just remove any foundation or product from my lips. There we go. And now I'm going to go in with the Sugar Lip Wonder Drops, is what they're called. And I rub it on my lip. I just rub the dropper on my lip. And then I take my ring finger and I just swirl it in. This is supposed to act like a moisturizing lip primer. 
I don't know, I like it. It makes my lips feel good. Sometimes when I'm having a rough go with my lips, I will just just throw this on and move on with life. I won't even bother with the gloss, won't even... I'll just do that. Now I'm going in with the Disney Villains Collection um, lipstick cream in um, Hades by Colourpop. But this particular lip product is exceedingly moisturizing. So much so that apparently I'm trying to get it off my skin. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, I think so far of the lip products by ColourPop, I have tried, I think of the colors that I've tried, this is my favorite thus far. This and Snow White. Snow White is like a very warm, Actually, it's not even warm. It's not even a warm red. It's like a cold, deep red. Um, I think they describe it as candy apple red, which I thought is very, very punny and clever on their part. <clears throat> but it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I absolutely adore it. So you guys are in for a treat because I'm actually going to be putting on lashes today. Um, I have my Sephora lashes. I haven't put on lashes for you guys yet, but I'm kind of terrified because I have a love-hate relationship with lashes. I love them, they hate me. It's a very complicated relationship. It's a relationship that is very complicated, but for the most part, it's a good relationship. Before I put on lashes, I am actually going to put on a quick brush of mascara on my top lashes. Set that aside. And I'm going to take this gosh liner in I C U C E A. It's a very um teal blue. And I'm actually going to put that in my lower waterline. There we go. Now that that is done, and my lower um, waterline is all nice and blue and sparkly and my lips are super moisturized. I can't get over that. I'm going to take that mascara again and I'm going to very lightly coat my lower lashes because this is not waterproof and one wrong move and I could end up looking like a raccoon and all of the work we've just done has gone down the drain. So ever so light dusting. So I make a comment right at the end there about my lashes being so long it looks like they're casting a shadow. So I'm actually using... Where did the top go? What? I don't know what style I'm using. Ah! I'm using style hipster. Original hipster. You can't read that. I don't know why I'm showing you that. This is the casing for it. This is the casing for the case. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the Sephora brand lash glue and the little one that it comes with. Oh, we're sticking to my thumb now. So I'm going to dust this along. Last time I wore these, I used the Pure lash glue, which I love it, except for the fact that the brush gets absolutely mangled in the container. And so you have to use it every day for the number of days you have it, <clears throat> or it's useless by the time you go to use it. Let's figure out which eyelash this is. This is the right eyelash. Okay. I'm going to take you a minute to figure out which side's which. 
you know you're a beauty guru when you have reached the ultimate beauty guru status when just by looking at an eyelash you know which side it goes on uh oh we're getting tacky in some places as one another In a second, we'll go over that with mascara. I just want to make sure it's fully dry before I do anything to it. Because the last thing I want is my eyelashes moving five umpteen million different places <clears throat> while I'm fixing them and then having to peel them off and then re glue them down and just make it a whole mess of it. I do not need that in my life. I do not need that kind of negativity in my life. Thank you very much. I will admit, I do actually really like these lashes. They're very, very subtle. Like, you can barely tell that I'm wearing false lashes just by looking at the camera and just looking at my just two my eyes. Wow, English is so easy for me. Looking at the two of my eyes, you can barely tell that I am wearing false lashes. And that's a good sign. Okay, this one's further in than I wanted it to be. However, my lashes look good. We're going to finish up with one quick coat of mascara. There we go. So this is the finished look. I'm actually going to, just one sec, I'll be right back. I'm back, there we go. My hairstyle was kind of buggy, but it just wasn't feeling the vibe. So, <clears throat> I adjusted, and here is the final look. Um, I just put in a cute little, cute little half updo ponytail, and if I really wanted to, I could throw in some cute blue earrings to kind of match the whole vibe, um, but here we go with some Christmassy kind of, not even Christmassy, this is like a wintry, glittery look, and I think this would be really good for, actually this would be really good for a New Year's party, or just, you know, if you're going out on a date in you know the middle of winter and you just really want to embrace the winter vibe because you know the snow is just gently falling and it's just so pretty and you just want to be light and beautiful and fair and just winter wonderland this is winter wonderland vibes this is like we got the glittery snow we got the nice blue ice like we feeling it. i'm feeling this i don't know if you're feeling this but i'm definitely feeling this like this is my jam I'm loving this, especially with the very, very subtle false lash. <clears throat> so, um, that's it for today, guys. Uh, just a very cute, cute look. I'm definitely feeling this look. I really like this look. I'm actually really sad that it is 5 p.m. and I will have to wash this all off of my face later tonight. But, um, who knows? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's church. Maybe. I'll probably do something a lot more subtle for church tomorrow if I get out of bed in time. I might be up till 4 a.m., who knows. I don't make the best decisions on Saturday evenings. I am a bit of an I know. Anyways, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, leave a like down below. Um, feel free to comment your thoughts. Um, if you would like me to do another icy blue look, maybe like a deeper smokier look, or maybe like a brighter, more vibrant look, please let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I will list down below any of the products I used. Um, for the palettes, I will just list the palettes, like the eyeshadow palettes. I won't actually list all the colors because that is already discussed earlier in this video. Um, so if you want to see what colors I use, then rewind back there, but I will leave palettes, any skincare, any um, of the products that I used in this video down below. 
And uh, if you'd like to hear my thoughts on that um, and do some product reviews, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in my next video.